what's up guys it's u2 fire alarm 9200 now this is going to be one of the last tests of the simplex 4005 at least in this setup and you know that seems to happen with a lot of the systems i've built here um but there are going to be some reasons why and i'm not really going to say anything yet but you will see why no it's not another new panel coming not this time but i've got a little something different so for once, there are no T-bars. I've actually changed everything for VG-12. See, so yeah, I got VG-12 full stations back here. And from the last test, I kept up the Zone 10 um, little trim plate. I thought it looked cool, so I'll just, I just left this one here. The other one I already removed. Smokes are the same. However, for the horn strobe, I have my system sensor P2W, um, PC2WL ceiling mount L-series horn strobe. And the same smoke over there. And over there, I've got my system sensor SWL. And the strobe actually in the closet is the same. I'm not going to bother going in there. And I kept this strobe out here for selective silence because these strobes are two wire. So, so that strobe is there to keep on going in because I wanted to throw it up. And out here, I've got my Honeywell PSDA and my system sensor P2WL, two wire horn strobe. And it is set for CO3 high volume. And that is the same for the ceiling mount L series as well. So. I'm not gonna have to, I'm not gonna change any coding options because you actually can't code two wire system sensor devices, at least the newer ones anymore. You could with a you could with a spectral or classic. But anyways, where should we start it? I am actually going to start it over here. And actually, I forgot to mention this pull station. I've actually recently got this. This is my notifier NBG12 LSP. So it's got fuego and fire, and it's notifier, yep, and VG12 LSP. So we're actually going to start it with this pull station. Yep, silence, and the SW is the only strobe flashing aside from one in the closet. The strobe in the closet is the same as the last test, which is the 4904-9101. So, go ahead and reset that. We'll also do the duct.
So, yep. I don't have a sink module up here, which actually there was supposed to be one here, but couldn't get one in time. Which I actually wanted to have all of these devices in sync as well as selective silence. And I actually still to this day do not own an MDL. Typically when I do system sensor de um, devices or set up with all system sensor devices, they typically are on my firelight panels, which have built in sync protocol. But simplex panels do not have that. I mean, my 4010 has built in sync, but it's not for system sensor. It's only the, it only does wheel locks and true alert smart sync. So for the most part, they're in sync, but if you let them go for a little bit longer, they will get out of sync. So, and I know the strobe, the SW is on a different circuit, so it'll, it's going to be off regardless. So we'll do this full station next. my magnet over here I'm actually going to test the smokes as well if I can find it literally just had it and I can't find the magnet I'm also gonna go ahead and shut up the enunciator which I've never gotten working. Cause like I said, this is an older one that only works with the 4002. So unfortunately I have never been able to get an enunciator working on the 4005. I have for the other systems, like the 5820XL I could do, the MS9600 I could do, the AFP100 I could do, the 4005, no. So. See, unfortunately. So, I know these detectors work, but I'm going to go ahead and test the ones out here.
So now we're going to do this one. Still can't find my magnet to do the other detectors. So I know I placed it here. Huh, there it is. So now So now, the last device on the system. I literally tested everything. Usually it activates pretty quick. There we go.
We already got out of sync. So now I do actually have to reset something because I actually did not reset the PSDA out here. So we are going to go ahead and grab the keys, reset it with the thing already on my sound, not key out. Yep, there we go. Nice and simple. So now, yep, that strobe's the only one flashing. And you can also see the LEDs on the smoke detectors are still going off. I would have loved to have an MDL right now because I even have a spot for it as well. If any of you guys were wondering why this was here and not covered, that's because this was actually supposed to be for an MDL. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and reset. We can also... Let's see, so we had seven alarm strips. So the FACP's duct detector, second floor hallway, second floor hallway smoke, first floor hallway slash dining room vista, basement, upstairs bedroom, that's here, FACP smoke, yep. For those of you that don't know, the, FAC, the um, bedroom actually has two zones, so it'll hold this pulse station and the smoke over there. And this smoke detector here has its own zone just for fire. Now, if anybody's wondering, well, why didn't you put this as a fire panel zone? Well, they're in the same location. So anyway, that's it. And I guess this may be the last test of the 4005. Um, now, one thing that I wanted to do is there was actually two more tests that I wanted to do. For one, I have two Wheelock ASs that I wanted to use, which I might actually be able to use with my Wheelock, my, not Wheelock, Siemens DSC. But do not quote me on that. So, and then one test that I really want to do is to round this off is simplex bells. Um, simplex vibrating bells, which I would love to do on the 4005. And maybe I'll get a chance to do that, but I don't have much time to do it. So anyway, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Check out have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.